here and welcome to a brand new day and I got my mom with a bird and I got bulls my bro, she's a bull head yeah That's we a have bird. a bull head bird good morning guys welcome to a brand new day like Sophie said lots on the go today we are we a busy busy day a we, we have a bird we do have, have a bird guys, guys I started that trend though um but, um, Gabby's a trendsetter. If you guys so, watched last night's extra video, you would have saw that the girls no, brought new breeches. But oh, it, by the time they see this, it'll be up. So anyway, Gabby is wearing her new breeches today. Sophie is wearing her new breeches today. And Gabby made, um... I had a stalker friend. Yeah, it was so funny. You gotta watch that video. If you didn't watch it, watch that video. It was so funny. Everywhere um, Gabby goes... Holly the dog was looking for me when I was changing into these breeches and um so she stuck her head under the change room door that I was in and I'm like that's kind of cute and then she started going under it and yeah I'm like, no, no. no matter where we go dogs find Gabby like they just look for it. like so is so kind and gentle with dogs but there's something about Gabby's like energetic part of her that really so yeah lot. pulls them in but anyway so Gabby made uh Crazy discovery today about her uh, new breeches. What happened? They're water resistant. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, don't pay attention to them. Pay attention to me. Like, <laughs> of course she wants me to pet her. Really. So, anyways, what happened? How did you discover? Okay, so I lifted a plate out of the water, and water fell onto my breeches. And then what happened? Their water resistant. They it just ran off, right? Well, the one looked like it was gonna do it, but then I just wiped it with the towel. So show them. Let's see. Get some water, a little bit of water, and throw them on those breeches. They are a funny feeling. They. <gasps> oh, I, I can't. You can't really tell, but it it beads up on her breeches and goes off, and you can't even tell. It doesn't leave watermarks or anything. And then when you wipe it with the towel, it just goes away. On the yeah. Towel. So it is. Starting to snow out there, but you know what? I looked at my bedroom window this morning. Oh, Levi's, eating Levi's the stop eating the camera. I looked at my bedroom window this morning, and that's the view that I got of our barn, of our tiny little barn. And I, you know how you have deja vu and you know you've seen it before? I feel like I've dreamed this barn so many times. Like, I feel so familiar, so familiar here in this house and so familiar in at, at our barn. Today, we are headed to the barn for more lessons again. Um, today I'm going to ask Fiona when I could jump my horse. We're waiting to jump her horse until our chiropractor comes back. Um, yeah, she's coming back next week. Um, mm -hmm. Our race car driver is coming back next week, so things will change again. But yeah, we are like oh, just gosh. playing it easy with Storm. We're jumping three foot next. No, we're jumping three three. You gotta go slow with him. I know you're ready. Oh goodness, <laughs> Levi, plants are dangerous. Do not grab my plant. Ow! No. <laughs> <laughs> He's always looking for his next toy, his next thing to play with. Anyway, um, also we're going to try and get down to the barn and hang up all of her stuff because we got stuff now. Like, we can start setting up our barn. Oh, and in other news, I'm sorry. When is my saddle coming? Yeah, saddle is still not here yet, but it should be here soon. Anytime in the next couple of weeks. It's been six weeks. They said six to eight weeks. And because it was Christmas, they said, like, it could take a couple more weeks longer than that. But anyway, update. I found this. I found the footing. So um, I asked the lady at our barn, ow, ow, ow. I asked the lady at our barn um, where she got her footing because our horses love that footing. And she told me where. And I, she, I like, yeah, I'm going to call them today and figure out if they have the footing in. Sometimes they don't get it till the spring. And <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Levi, stop. He is a going concern. Anyways, um, yeah, so we're going to have the same footing at, as at our barn now. I'm really excited about that. Keep your head straight. Are you excited about that? Yeah. Head straight. You go like this when you yeah. talk. <laughs> okay. So Levi's like, what's happening? What's happening? Okay, let go of my neck. Okay, thank you. <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, it's all coming along. We'll buy it. Like, we're going to, yeah, it's all coming along. So uh, on with the video. So Sam is actually on his way here Ooh. with our tractor for the first time he's able to bring the tractor here. We're all standing by the door getting ready to go out there and, and see mom, him. The mom's like, oh my god, it looks like it's been burnt. I'm like, what the heck happened to this brand new blind? Brand new blind. And I said, it looks like it's been burnt. And then we realized it's in the shape of a beak. <laughs> 
See? I'm like, it's Levi. Yeah. Oh, it guys, is Levi. look at these blinds. They are amazing. Okay, look. They're magnetic. Yeah, they just pop up and pop down. How far down do you go? This far. How far? Okay, guys. Shout out to daybydayvlog.edits underscore. This way, let's show it. I know a lot of you guys are getting the same shout outs all the time. Yeah, but then they make new photos and look, she got the shoes right. Yeah, that's so cool. And the pants. So it's like, a, uh, what kind of edit is that? It's like an anime, an animated edit. Of but Storm then on like the real. Yeah, it's really Stuff. cool. Yeah. This is a monumentous occasion, you guys, because Sam always wanted a tractor for a long time, and now he has a tractor. And we always wanted a farm for a long time, and now we have a farm. And the farm there and the is. tractor are about to meet. You you see him? Oh my god, quick, let's He's go! Driving fast. He's driving fast! Oh my god! down to the barn with Sam and what oh and it's funny because Gabby was in the house and then before I knew it she was down at the barn oh my gosh you should have heard you should have heard what said what Gabby said in the car we were talking about my fall like we were having this huge conversation and what did you say if you would have stuck it if I had not have fallen what did you say? I forget. She said, it was so funny. She said, if you had oh, stayed yeah. on that horse and not fallen, I would never, we never would have heard the end of it. No, you would be so full of yourself. Yeah, that's what she said. And it's oh. true. So, a um, couple issues with the barn are, one, there's toilet paper hanging on the wall, which is really scary, because that means that somebody's gone to the bathroom down here. Um, Okay, so a uh, problem with the barn is that, okay, so Sam's got his room and it is filling up all the stuff we would normally put in a garage, Sam wants to put in the barn. So we're not gonna have these scooters anymore. We're gonna give those away. You guys could've told me. I told you, do you wanna go down to the barn? No one said that we're coming down here. Um, we have Sabrina's bucket, so I brought that down to add to our collection. Um, look, why doesn't, hasn't somebody put together our broom? I will. Oh, now that light works. That's so weird. Anyway, where's Storm Stall? Where's Gabby? Um, so our tax store doesn't have any of these mats right now because I wanted to buy some. Apparently they come in in the spring. And somebody said we have to turn them upside down, the smooth side. And I believe that the smooth side does go up. Yeah, Silly Sam. But it takes like two yeah, I can't lift anything yet. <laughs> oh, I'm so cold, but look at all our stuff. It's getting so full. Like, yeah, I mean, we have a huge barn and that's all the stuff we have, but I mean, yeah. it's still something. Pull it, pull it, you can do it. There we go. And we should be putting that in Stella's stall because it's gonna be Stella that's coming home first. Okay, well, let's do it then. All right, grab it. You want oh, me to help you drag it? Here, I can help drag. You guys have me. Whoa, here. Give, give me a piece. Give me a piece. I can't. <laughs> oh no, there's no way. Sorry, that, that's a 50, that's a 50 pound mat. That's yeah. so huge. And over here in the wash doll, we got hay. Like it might not look like a lot of hay because it's not a lot of hay. Come on, help her. No, help her. And in the arena, we got Sam's tractor. So that kind of gives you an idea how big the arena is. 
because Sam's tractor is pretty big and it, it doesn't take up much room. So this um, weekend or even as soon as we can, the girls and I will be down here to pick out all the rocks and stuff and make sure that there's no glass. Sam will have to do this thing where he like drags it and see there's some rocks and stuff here just from people bringing stuff in and yeah like that's gonna be a hard job because i can't bend over uh the other thing that's gonna happen this weekend or very soon because i'm gonna order the sand like as soon as i possibly can like as soon as we get this done i'm gonna order the sand the other thing that's gonna have to happen is sam's gonna put the boards along the edge and that's the only way that that has to happen before we get the sand as well but yeah like now that i think now that i look at it, at it though down here is pretty low so we're gonna need a lot of sand you're gonna have to help pick up all this stuff gabby why are you watching the vlog where i fell off we were talking about it so much like there's so many things i want to share about my fall that i didn't get to share um but i i'm gonna get to share them and i'll explain oh, yeah, that in a little while okay so look at this is what i have planned for stella okay so i see all those tree branches where they're all in here and see the fence line along there like there's a big fence line right here and then it goes up into like our bigger paddock so what i'm thinking like because it's all grass up there what i'm thinking is that see where all those branches are there's not much there's not much grass in there and so if we put a fence like along here and sectioned off just that big huge rectangular section like see where before it gets to the uphill so like along here it would be a big huge paddock similar to what they had at our old barn and there wouldn't be as much grass so um it would kind of be safe for her then we could put a gate going up to this hill part so that storm and her could be together or storm could go in his own paddock or like it just be open but yeah i'm in the paddock i think this is it so all that stuff would have to be removed and that's going to be easy like something that we plan to do soon we might have to get help just because i'm unable to help um a lot of this fencing needs to like be fixed see there's like fences like storm would just step over that and be gone um but yeah so a lot of that has to be fixed You got your brand new breeches on. That's where Ruby poops. You're okay. You're okay. I'll take it off if we decide to can her. Deal? He didn't have a single issue with the ear bonnet, so. He was just sassy. That's what I thought. The reason Storm doesn't mind that ear bonnet is because, look at him. Look at the difference in that horse, Madison. Look at how he's walking right now. Do you notice a change? The babysitter. He babysits her. He says, I'm going to take you back to the gate, Sophie. <laughs> Turn around and make him go. You're the boss. Sit back in your saddle. Okay, so for Gabby, he bucks and... and he doesn't buck. Okay, he doesn't buck. I'm sure that. Do you want to see a buck? No. <laughs> so for Gabby, he swishes his tail, shakes his head, and for Sophie, he just slowly turns around and takes her where he wants to go. <laughs> like, literally every time she gets on him, he walks like that. Itchy leg. Click, click. You gotta make him walk with purpose or he's gonna zigzag. Now, get this is Gabby's new thing. She jumps on Stella, and Stella's really good with it. Good. She actually likes it better than when they stick their feet into her side. What, do you blame her? No. How do you look it? <laughs> well, I know. <laughs> this is Madison, you guys, our friend. Say hi. Hi. Inside leg. Inside leg. Show him over. That's it. She didn't. Some thumbs on top. Look where we're going. You got it. Keep asking to move over with your inside leg. Big smile. Now we're going away from the sun so you won't be blinded. 
Got a good girl still, Ella. Very nice, self. Let's two points. Stretch our heels to the crown. That's it. Stick your booty backwards. Stick your bum backwards. Stick your bum backwards. You don't want to perch over the front of your saddle because if he stops, you'll fall forward. You want to sit your bum backwards so you got balance in your heels, inside legs. You want to be close to the saddle. And the front of the saddle should still be in front of you, not underneath you. Atta girl. Mm -hmm. All right, take a breather. Girl, you say I'm funny. I worry about nothing. Thumbs on top, hands together. Oh, bless you. <laughs> so we need to go walk. <laughs> <laughs> Not easy, everybody. This is a good personality. That's why I really love her. That is exactly why everybody loves her. And she's got skills. Like she's she's not a lazy horse. No. No. I'm I'm excited. That's lazy. Yeah. I'm I'm good with lazy. <laughs> At least she's not crazy though. No, she's not. She is a really good brain. And she's smart. Change direction. You're just delaying the hard way. Gabby's helping you out. Your rising's already good. Now you're gonna push your right leg on after the red jump. And right leg, push him to the wall. Push him over to the wall. That a girl. Good job. Push him over. Good. Right into the corner. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Inside leg. Good work. Toes in. Use your thighs. Very nice. Let's sit. Trot. Good boy. Keep your leg on. Keep pushing him forward. And look at how good he is with her. Like, have you seen one single bit of attitude? No. Working trot. I'm curious to see if he would show her attitude if she had spurs on. Yeah, I was just going to say, she doesn't have spurs on. But he's moving good for her. He's stepping out quite nicely. She's a little quieter. Her legs don't move as much because yeah. she's more afraid to fall off. Yeah, I was just going to say, her <laughs> legs don't move because she's terrified. Yeah. Let me go. Let me go. Good girl, you're brave. Well, that's pretty loose. Can you drop your reins and fly? I'll put them on the rail first. <laughs> now, now do it. Yeah, good job. And steer again. Pull them back out of the wall. <laughs> Just gonna ride like a drunken sailor. It's fine. <laughs> lefty, righty, lefty, righty. Jump. Right leg. Good job! Hands on your hips! They need a heater in here. Two points! Yeah, they do. Out there is actually pretty Yeah! Cool. Look up where you're going, Sophie! This looks awesome! Blinded by the light. <laughs> but at least she's warm. Yeah. Back to rising, hands on your helmet. Yep. <laughs> Good job! Entering the wall. Just the wall. Kiss, kiss! Well, I don't even care that you're on the wrong lead. Just canter. Good job! And trot. Very nice. You feel good? Yeah. And walk. Well, that's gonna be nice. I'm not a meanie. All right. All right, let's go ahead and ask him. Are you ready for it? Yeah, I am. Canter on so you get your lead. That's it. Loosen your reins, please. Little looser. Good job. Stretch your heel down. Excellent job. And back to rising. Got to be strong. Good girl. Change your rise. Excellent work. 
Proud of you, Sophie. Look at that beautiful trot. Can you give him a couple more inches of rain? Yeah, let him stretch that nose down. Good boy. Yes, honey. What's that? I think we can do that. I want you to do it from the bottom to the top, up the wall. At the letter A, ask for your canter. And then come straight up the wall. Please don't die, battery. I brought another camera, but Sam has it. Kiss, kiss. Kiss, kiss. Good job. Put your hand in the air. Wave it around like you just do not care. Look out, Gabby. Keep going. Keep going. You got it. Good work and rising trot. Good job. Give that horse a big pat and ask him to walk. So I don't know if you guys remember, but we met that girl Madison. She was riding here. She brought her Pasofino in. She has a channel called Paso Fever. And she's seriously one of the nicest girls I've ever met. And when you meet nice people, you keep them in your circle because she's just amazing and, and so kind. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.